Hello, I'm Rick Steiner. Welcome to Lux Life Discovered. My co-host today is Shannon Richmond. So Shannon, glad to have you back. Always glad to be Good. back. And our guest today is Dennis Morton with Pierce Bespoke. So Dennis, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. So for those who are not familiar with your company, kind of tell us a little bit about what you do and, and okay. then we'll go from there. So, sure. so Pierce Bespoke is, is a, bespoke is basically means custom. So uh, we are a custom clothing uh, line for, for men. Um, we sell confidence, we sell convenience, and we sell customization. Um, convenience in the fact that we don't have a storefront. Um, what we do is we go out to our clients. Uh, we have a trunk with about a thousand different Italian and other European fabrics. Uh, mm -hmm. They get to, to pick for, through the fabrics. Uh, they get to pick the liners for their, their jackets, their buttons. They get to do all kind of different things to really customize their, their suit or their sport coat, their trousers, shirts, whatever. So our big thing is, is the convenience. It's the customization. And it's, it's the confidence that, mm -hmm. that we're able to do. And we do that through the fit and, and the customization because – our big thing is we want it to fit just right. right. I can say, you know, when I first bought my first custom suit, I can say that I was as confident as I've ever been going in into a business meeting. That's really mm -hmm. what, what, you know, got me into this business. This is really my second business. I had another company that I, I started almost 25 years ago, uh, or the business I was in. 25 years ago, started that company and got out of it and really enjoyed the process of going in, sitting down, picking out what I was going to, you know, build for my suit mm -hmm. um, and, and and making it fit right. We go a little bit step above and beyond e even that uh, at Pierce Bespoke. We take over 25 different measurements if you're, if you're doing a, a men's suit. Uh, but again, we're not all about suits. Um, you know, down here it gets you know it gets pretty pretty toasty. So I have to be <laughs> really careful here. about not getting boxed in as being the suit guy. You know, I purposely you know today I didn't wear a suit because you know we're getting into some different things. Uh, like this shirt I have, it's this is a short sleeve shirt. Okay. You know, we really want to do a lot with. A look like this down here, sport coat. Mm -hmm. People will say, <clears throat> "Well, people don't go to 30A or they don't go to you know any of these areas down here to get dressed up." And and I would beg to mm -hmm. differ. Yeah, there's a lot that goes on down here. Yep. And people get dressed up. Now they might not always wear a suit, but hey, they're gonna nice look. Jacket, they're gonna yeah. nice jacket. And so we're actually coming out this line. You'll you'll notice the. Collar is a, is a little bit bigger right. here. Um, it's got the collar stays in it, so okay. it really stays uh -huh. up. So, you know, we're really trying to, I'm trying to adapt, you know, a little bit to the lifestyle down here too. Um, because because I think, you know, you have a nice jacket, a, a shirt, and a pocket square, you can you can look as good as anybody anywhere in, in, in the country. So well, anyway, and, that's kind of what we do. So. Right, and there are a lot of events down here lately because you, oh, especially yeah. spring, early spring, yeah. to like first part of summer, yeah. and then back into the fall again where there are some very high-end events and you do need mm -hmm. dressier clothes. Well, yeah. so there's a magazine that we uh, advertised in. It's uh, the Eastern Shore Social. Mm -hmm. And they also have um, Coastal Social, and that basically covers the Eastern Shore as well as, um, you know, like Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and all mm -hmm. that. And if you flip through that magazine, I mean, it's about that thick, and it's all social events. And, and they don't post people in there just shirts and jeans. You know, they may, <laughs> yeah. No, so, it's, it's, I mean, and then, you know, uh, so we have our franchises all the way from Mobile to Panama City, and you just look at what happens in, in Mobile for Mardi Gras. You got it, yes. Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, there's an entire, and it's not just, it's not just there. It's it's all it's all over the Gulf Coast with Mardi Gras. So yeah. people are getting dressed up. Yeah. You know, yeah. people want to look good. They want to, and when they do, they're 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 most confident. And like you were saying, when they get dressed up, especially for like 
some of the specific events they, they attend, they want that personal look and not just a, a jacket off a, a storefront somewhere. You well, know, they want that personal description of what, what their personality is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. You know, the, you know, we do everything. You look at this jacket and it didn't, you know, it's, it's everything from the buttons to where my pocket is. It's to, you know, how these pockets slant right. to, you know, you see here, there's a, an extra pocket here, which mm. is called a hotel key pocket. Um, Never knew that. You know, you know, the linings, now I, I don't really get caught up in the linings, but some of these guys do. You know, you got your name in the, you know, the inside of the jacket okay. there. But uh, we've done, we've done everything from, you know, I just left this morning and a guy uh, wanted to, he, he was in the uh, animal uh, overnight business, whatever you call that. He keeps dogs lodging, overnight. Yeah, 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 lodging, you know. So he gave us a picture of his dog, so we're going to put a picture of his dog really? inside of the lining. Yeah, so, you know, we had a guy the other day that's a pilot, and uh, we got a picture of his plane, and we, we put the picture of his plane, you know, in his that's jacket. So nice. So it, it, it really is, you know, about the, the customization. Yeah. And um, some of these guys, you know, we do, I met you at a, a wedding show. Right. And, you know, sometimes these guys, they, they've never had a suit before. Sure. You know, sure. and my, my clients over the years have been, you know, attorneys and financial advisors. And, you know, they're pretty buttoned up, you know, but you get some of these guys that um, they're, they're getting their first suit. And boy, you and a lot of them are blue collar guys, and you'd be amazed at how geeky they get with picking out. <laughs> Do they really? Oh, so, oh yeah. it's, that's amazing! It it it. So they go uh, from like really not probably thinking they're going to care about it all of a sudden. It's like, hey, wait, wait, this looks good. Hey, or, we're going to yeah. do this. I want this color. Yeah. Well, this, and it just it just amazes me. So I've really, mm -hmm. you know, even though uh, you know I got into this business as my second career. And something I love to do and love to help people with 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 our our products. Um, I really had to, I have to I have to watch out sometimes because people will say, "Well, what do you think?" And I tell uh -huh. them what I yeah. think, uh -huh. but I'm like, you know, my you know my viewpoint on what my style is is there. not yeah. it's not yours. Right. You have to you have to remember that it's all about customization to you. You, uh, you know, you don't want to have the same, so you, Everything there, is. you know, somebody else does. That's, that's not the purpose of why we're, well, that's like when somebody comes this. to me for an event or wedding, they're like, well, you just do what you want. You do a great job. I'm like, it's not, no, this yeah. is your, your event, your personality. It needs to be reflected. Right. And this is the same way that, yeah, but that's interesting. The worst thing you could do is probably show up in a suit that looks like it belonged to your dad. You need something or that what everybody else like. has. Yeah. Well, you know, like women, when we go to events, we just have the stores around here, and you see right. two or three of the same right. dresses. Yeah. So it's so nice to have that option to, and also to describe who you are. Yep. yep. I love that. Yeah. So he's going to have to have one. So are you. Well, <laughs> I, you know, you know what? I know you can call. Yep. <laughs> you just happen to know someone that yeah. can take it care of that. It feels so good to feel good. Yeah. If you feel like you look good, your day is going to be fantastic. Well, I'll tell you, you know, my, my son, uh, he's the one that we have Fort Worth, Texas as well. And uh, he runs that. And he, he called me uh, Friday and he met with an attorney there, uh, actually one of his clients, not mine. And um, the guy ordered three suits, but he had just lost 30 pounds. And so, nice. you know, he's like, you know, he was really looking forward feeling good, to yeah, feeling yeah. good about himself and you know hopefully we're going to help him feel better about him himself sure yeah you know so when somebody comes to you if you've got that many fabrics in the trunk you know to, to show how in the world where do you start i mean yeah with a thousand yeah because they'd be just give me two choices. overwhelming yeah, yeah. <laughs> no so here's your choice for today yeah. so the process generally takes between an hour and an hour and a half okay you know uh, and it's a fun experience, you know, depending on who they are, you know, I'll find out what they, they like to drink and, you know, I'll bring whatever, fix them a drink and, and we'll really just kind of start going through, you know, what kind of, what style, you know, do you like? Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it's, you know, if they want something solid, you know, we can, we can start down that road. 
You know, if they want something pinstripe or with a little bit of, you know, variety in it. Flair. You know? Yeah, flair. You know, we can, we, can, we can go that route. And, you know, invariably they're going to go through, I mean, we have 18 different books that they're, they're going to choose from. Wow. You know, some of it's going to depend on price, too. Sure. Um, uh, and so, you know, we really I generally start out with, okay, here's here's our $1,200 two-piece suit. You know, let's look let's look through there. I really personally, you know, I don't think I've ever spent more than $2,000 on a custom suit. Uh, so I really, and I, I think that our fabrics are, are just as good as, as those. So, you know, I, you know, I, I don't want to necessarily upsell somebody. I want to start to say, let's see if you can find something. Here. And they may move up. They yeah, may, yeah. They, you know, because maybe they're going to buy two. You know, if they can True. buy. Yeah. You know, so so we start there, and you know, we we kind of go through it, and they'll find something they like, and say, okay, let's just, you know, dog ear that, and come back to it, because you're going to find something, you're going to change your mind, and they'll, they'll boil it down to you know what they. So do they get overwhelmed in the process of? Like, I don't think so. Want? It's a fun yeah. process. Is it good? Yeah. You yeah. know, now uh, sometimes the. The wife is there, and they shove it off on the wife and <laughs> right, our right. girlfriend. Well, they and, know and they, they do that, not, yeah. You know, yeah. so uh, I, we do have those those clients as well. But yeah. but it's a you know it's a fun, very laid back process, and you yeah, know, most again, people are doing it for the first time, actually doing that custom um, piece. You know, we we do have um, we we have a competitor that um, believe it or not has been doing this for a very long time. Uh, they did almost a billion dollars in sales oh, wow. last year. Wow. So they're no, you know, they're no fly by night. Um, so I run into those guys a lot. So a, a lot of our customers are ones that are maybe a little bit dismayed with them because maybe they've gotten a little bit complacent or, or too big right. and they're not showing the, the attention. attention yeah. Right. And, yeah. And, and this is a business where you, you've got to show that, that attention and, and, sure. and that love. Yeah. So. Well, good. So you have suits, you have, I mean, jackets, you have pants, shirts. Yeah. So, so we've got to be really careful not to, again, box ourselves in with suits, right. you know, because I, I'm not going to be wearing a suit in July down here. True. Yeah. You know, this is what I'm going to be, be wearing. Yeah. So uh, suits, sport coats, uh, custom dress shirts. We've actually right now uh, in March, we're doing a free custom shirt for new customers. So, you did it when March? In March. Okay. Yeah. In March. There you go, Rick. Yeah, I, yeah. like, yeah. I have a, I have a, a nice Armani suit I bought years okay. ago, and then I gained a lot of weight. Yeah. And my wife threatens me that if I die before I lose back to that weight, I'll still be buried in that suit. I'll just yeah. be split in the back yeah. and the pants, but it's going to be on me. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, well, if you want, if you want one, we'll, we'll measure. Right, right, you. right. We may have to like we'll, update we'll, that. We'll so. measure you yeah. up before I leave. But uh, so trousers, um, and then we're working on. You know these type polos. You know, so it's 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 business to business business casual wear. Right. You know, okay. um, we don't do anything on the on the casual you know front um, because again, it's all about for us. It's all about the fit. The fit is so important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this morning I was I met with uh, uh, some actually met them at your event. Um, and the the son uh, is has his sister's getting married and he put on, he's 25 and he put on his suit that he had. And it was almost like the incredible. Oh, his <laughs> guys, yeah, I was six, three, his arms were about that oh, big gosh, yeah. around. He had big shoulders. And, and, um, so anyway, he was, he's not going to look good in an off the rack. Yeah. Suit. yeah he needs something. He needs yeah, something custom, that's yeah. going to, it's going to fit him just, just right. So well, good. And that's where we come in. Yeah. You know? Um aren't you glad you came to the show now for sure? Yeah, no, it was a good, it was a <laughs> no. good show, good turnout. Yeah. And, uh, I think that'd be people. just such a fun experience getting to do do that. And I, I would hope that the guy would do it and not make his wife do it because it's for him. Yeah. I mean, unless he just wants her to pick what she likes. You know, it, it just it it depends on the age. The younger, the more they're really going to be to into get it. into it. Yeah. yeah. We okay. we had I, I see that because I yeah. See. Yeah. We had a guy, uh, we met through another uh, wedding show, and the guy was 6'10", so 400, 400 pounds. Wow. Now, I Googled it. There's nobody in the NFL that's bigger than this guy. He was a mountain. Okay. And so, like, big pig, not just big, but... And he wasn't, it wasn't he was just big. Yeah. He was just yeah. a mountain. 
And um, you would have been amazed to see the process. This guy's about 26 years old. You know, he went through and, uh, you know, he did the shirt, the suit, shirt. He did a vest uh, and, you know, just really went to the nth degree. Never had a suit. Wow, how neat. In yeah. his life. So I, I, just, I think the younger. That probably feels really good for yeah. you, too, to be like, yeah. yes. Yeah. But, our, you know, surprisingly enough, our target market is 25 to 40. Is it really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. It, it and I think it is because uh, you you have you know I'm 52, you know guys that are younger than than me, you know they taken you know better care of themselves than you know a lot of the guys that are my age. Um, they work out. They want to be you know a little bit unique. Um, so you know we're not for everybody, but but. For someone who really wants to get something that's that's custom for them, fits just right, you know, there's a big market for, for that. Yeah. Well, you see a lot of people my age that are taking better care of themselves, too, and they want to feel good about what they've done. And well, especially, like you know, th those that have, have, you know, gained weight. You know, I've been saying for years that, you know, when I was growing up, you know, Southern women have been been killing men and making them fat for years. I mean, I didn't know anything other than fried food right. until I met my wife. And, you know, that's not... That's not she just ruined all that fun. Huh? She, ruined, she ruined all that. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're right. A lot of those people, you know, they reached a point in their life. And, you yeah. know, they've... Uh, as a matter of fact, the father today where I was at, he had just lost uh, 30 pounds. Okay. And yeah. so, you know, he got a suit for the wedding because... Uh, he had he had plenty of suits, but he was to the point to where none of them fit him. Right, just right. So. And it's hard to take some of your suits that you have after you've lost weight and have them tailored to, to still look, look good. Right. Yeah. They still yeah don't look right. Yeah. But still off the shelf. Yeah. yeah, yeah, still off the shelf. So, do women ever come to you for a suit? We do. So yeah, we we yeah. have um, especially you know we can do a really nice custom blazer and and pants for for a female so work-wise you know absolutely so a lot of attorneys that that you know have to do you know be that so mm -hmm. any of the fabrics that we have you can make you know a blazer, a blazer. or yeah. a pair a pair of pants oh you know i hadn't thought about this my daughter-in-law she's an attorney and um she has trouble finding some clothes sometimes that are court appropriate yeah so this i don't have to Tell her about this, yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, I mean, if it if you can be measured, we can do it. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay, how important is a pocket square? To me? In general. Well, I, and I can what just give you my... What does it mean to you for a pocket square? It makes the jacket pop, the suit pop, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's one thing, you know, if I'm in, you know, Fairhope, Alabama, and somebody says, hey, that's a nice, that's a nice jacket or a nice suit. It's another if I'm in Chicago or New York and somebody comes up and says that to me. Yeah. Um, I, th I think the pocket square is, it, it's a, everything's personal, right? And it, but it's a finish look, It's right? the finish. Yeah. You know, it's, it's. Just like girls put on earrings, you know, it's the right. finish. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the, yeah. So how do you, what's the proper way to do the pocket square? Well, you can, that's the thing. You can do, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. I've never been really good at it. You know, I, I'll but, be, yeah, but I think it looks good. Yeah. Sure. But, uh, you know, so we do it a little different way, just depending on, you just know, what the jacket is. And, you know, the, you know, this is something like this like is really nice, you know, yeah. this one's kind of reversible, you know, so if I don't, How you know, like pocket square, that's not square. Huh? That's not square. Well, a handkerchief, a hanky, how about that? <laughs> okay, All right. that, you know. Um, Leave it to Shannon to be. Oh, like, oh it sounds, sounds like pocket it. square. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't you don't want to be square, though, right? <laughs> right. You, you want this thing. So I think it's one of the most important. Well, see, that changes parts the whole the, look too. That's yeah, 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 of yeah. the of the outfit. Mm -hmm. Because I, you know, I can tell guys I'm like, especially guys starting out. You know, don't go out and spend a ton of money on a bunch of suits. Get about five different suits. You know, if you're starting out and you're a financial advisor or you're, you know, uh, an attorney, let's get let's get three or four suits to start out with. Then 
let's get, you know, five or six shirts. Let's get eight or ten ties. Let's get eight or ten pocket squares. You do the uh, ties also. We can do, okay. yeah. yeah. All right. So, and we also, I, I didn't finish that, but we can also do tuxedos. Okay. Uh, and we can do overcoats, which this far, we don't do nice. a lot of overcoats right. down in, yeah. in, in sure, this, down this here. town. Yeah. But, um, but in the Oklahoma and Texas market, it's a little cool, cooler there, and we do right. do those. But, um, uh, but yeah, let's do that. And, you know, you've got, you're going to be wearing something that uh, nobody's going to know you're going to be wearing it from one week to the next. Right. Yeah. So would you recommend, like, if you're doing multiple, are you doing different color than the suits, or are you trying to keep them all the same, or doing changing the jackets out when you do that? What are you? What are your thoughts on all that? You know, it's it's more of about changing out the shirt, the tie, and the pocket square. At there that you point, go. Right? Okay. Yeah. So let's say you're an attorney. You're like starting a whole out. different outlook. Yeah. You know, get that. a gray pinstripe, a blue pinstripe. You know, you know, a window pane. You know, uh, a couple of suits, maybe solid colors. We can do a lot with that with mm -hmm. different shirts, shirts and ties yeah. and, and and pocket squares. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. What is a, uh, a a big obstacle that you've had to overcome with doing what you do? Um, you know, it, a, a lot of what we do is time, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't have a storefront, so you know we're we're making a market. You know, we're we're having to figure out you know where we're gonna you know, grab people, especially in this market. This market's a little bit different. Um, you know, keep in mind, you know, Fort Worth and Tulsa, mm -hmm. you know, we've had that. But now from Mobile to Panama City, you know, it's a it's a little bit of a learning curve. You know, I hadn't been yeah. to a wedding shows until we came down here. But you see all the weddings that happen down here, yeah. you better be involved yeah. in that. They're pretty good events. You you can be drinking by ten o'clock in the morning. Some of these things. <laughs> sure, yeah. So that's not bad. Make you know, it a good I've, day. I've, yeah. It, yeah, you can start the day off right. Um, and I can sell a hell of a lot better when you know, <laughs> a couple of cocktails. Right. But um, you know, it's it it is a market that we're having to understand. <laughs> uh, it it you know it it and not only that, I mean trends have changed, especially with work people. You know in Fort Worth, our attorneys, I would go meet with them and, you know, they'd be in blue jeans. I was going to say that's a whole different, yeah. yeah. You know, um, you know, in Fort Worth, Fort Worth formal, I, I said, if you got a, you know, a nice sport coat and a pair of, a nice pair of jeans and the belt clean, said more clean, about, yeah. clean cowboy <laughs> boots, so that was Fort Worth formal. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and here it's, it's a little bit different. Tulsa was kind of, actually Tulsa was a little bit more formal than, Fort Worth Interesting. was yeah. um, in in their dress and but but again down here it's trying to figure out you know again mm -hmm. you know when we first moved down here I had no concept that we'd be doing you know something like you know this shirt but you know I you, love the thick the wider collar yeah it stays tucked in so neat yeah yeah, yeah. I've I've actually got a picture with with this and a tie now I'd oh. never I'd never do it but um, but you can't tell in the picture that this is a short, short sleeve shirt. Yeah, but that's that interesting. Yeah, and it just makes sense down yeah. here because it's so much cooler. It's so yeah. hot. But that's yeah. the attention to detail. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's right. And, and my wife will tell you that I have, and I do. I, I I admit it. I have the worst attention to detail that you'll ever have, except when it comes to to this. Um, and and I don't. I don't know why that is, but you know, again, going back to area of when you right? know when you say <laughs> how important is a pocket square, I say it's it's even if, even if I've just got a white actual pocket mm -hmm. square in here, there's something's going to be in Boring. here. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> there's something's going to be in here. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I think it's just the finishing touch. I, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, and then something that we um, touched on at the bridal show when we met is that. You and I have a connection that we <laughs> yeah. never even knew about, but well, I live in Murray, Kentucky, and you lived there for several years. Well, I was actually, so there was a, I was in the transportation logistics business for 26 years. Hated every minute of it. Never knew you could have fun until I got in this business. 
with what you do. Isn't that funny how we spend so much of our lives in something and then you realize, wait, there's what, more. What am I doing? more you enjoy yeah. working. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so there was a company, there was a big, really big trucking company that was uh, based out of Murray, Kentucky. And I was a vice president for them years ago. Yeah. And I'd have to go to Murray. So when, when I met Rick and I noticed that 270 area code, I'm like, where to ask you if you lived? I, Paducah. I, yeah, Paducah, which is, you know. 40 miles. Yeah, north, 40 yeah. miles. I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to ask you if you live in Murray, Kentucky. Because what were the chances? Yeah. 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 He's like, no, I live in Murray. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Really? So, so well, yeah, I'm sure we know of many of the same people. Prob and, yeah, probably so. Crazy. Yeah. But it's amazing how the how small the world is. You know, when you start talking to people and connections and stuff, it, yeah. it's amazing how we're all kind of interconnected somehow. You know, yeah. it's like somehow, what is it, six degrees of separation? Is yeah. that the, the book? Yeah. Well, so. interestingly enough, I lived in Panama City at one point about 30 years ago with a company that had an office that I worked for there. Uh -huh. And uh, my wife and I had our first date in Panama City. Oh, that's right. We talked about that. We, yeah. That, so. That's, yeah. yeah. And now here you are, full circle. Yeah. yeah. Full yeah. circle. That's, yeah, full it's circle. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, Dennis, our time is up. So, I mean, it was quick. But look uh, and, and tell everybody how to contact you because I'm sure you're going to get a lot of interest on. I, I think this is neat. I'll definitely be following up with you. It's good. Be sure. I even probably won't. Yeah. I was okay. Say, we can, see we if can you do matching. Yeah, so um, my phone number is 251-278-8270. Uh, I live right outside of Mobile and, you know, I'm back and forth between Mobile and this area, you know, every week. It's, uh, okay. not, there's a lot worse areas that you can, right. that you can be traveling <laughs> well, through. So, rough, rough uh, probably my favorite, all the places I've, I've lived or been in the world, this is probably the, one of my favorite stretches of, of, yeah. of real estate. And then my email is uh, dmartin at piercebespoke.com. All right. Well, thank Perfect. you so much for taking time to come yeah. up and be with us today. Enjoyed we enjoyed it very thank much. You. Yeah, it was fun. Appreciate it. All right. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Lux Life Discovered. Check out Lux Life Discovered on Facebook and Instagram and on 30a.tv. See you next time on Lux Life Discovered.